wow, I feel so good to be reviewing a show I was at after a two-year hiatus. Hmm. Well, should, should I start with like Punk's first match in seven years, or the Super Click being back after five, or Men of the Year getting a win, Anna J? Oh, it goes on and on and on. Well, I guess I'll just say that Eddie Kingston finally comes home. Welcome to a brand new episode of Can We Talk Wrestling, and we are reviewing Rampage Grand Slam, which I was at, and we are starting. Now, so if you saw my vlog, which a lot of people did, so thank you, um, I had the best time at Grand Slam. It was my first live show in two years. The last, the last live wrestling show I went to was July of 2019, which was on Monday Night Raw when it was a Prudential, and I missed it. And I was actually talking to Kyle about how much it took out of me because I'm just like so not used to going to a show, and I was like, oh my, like, like, do you see this? This is how tired I am. It's three days after. I'm like, huh. But it was amazing. I would totally do it again in a heartbeat. My ticket is literally on my desk hanging. Like, I really want to frame it because I was, I could say I was a part of history. But let's talk about the final two hours of live footage I saw, which was AEW Rampage. CM Punk's first match in seven years. Oh my god. So, I think, I believe that was my first time actually seeing Punk wrestle live. Yeah, I think that was my first time seeing Punk Wrestle Live, which is insane, because I actually started watching WWE when he became WWE Champion for the second time against Del Rio, The Garden. This match was insane. Oh my god. Um, the bump, the scary bump with like what Punk trying to do to Hara Karana and he landed on his head, that was really scary. A lot of people in the crowd were really scared too, but this match was amazing. I actually picked Hobbs because I thought like Punk was going to put over Hobbs, but I think Punk made the right decision. I think Punk should have won. The match was really good. Starks and Taz on commentary was also really cool too. And it just shows that Punk still got it after seven years. I mean, this is the second match he's made it like he's been wrestling every single day for the past seven years, which is absolutely insane. I don't know too many people that could do that. So CM Punk, you are one talented human being. Glad to have you back in all elite wrestling. And next up should be Hook. Send Hook. If you don't send Hook, we're gonna have a problem. Hashtag send hook, let's make it trending. I mean, there's already a Twitter account, but send hook. And from there, we go into my favorite match of the whole night. Oh my god. This six man tag between Jurassic Express and Cages versus the Super Click was insane. Um, So I was actually there when they kicked out and called out of the Bullet Club at Hammerstein. They inducted Marty. I was there live. And I, you forget how much chemistry the Young Bucks and Adam have. I mean, my roommate and her boyfriend were actually recreating some of the moves they were doing in the ring, like they were making fun of it. And then when Matt and Nick went to go kiss Adam, my roommate was like, oh my god, it's so funny. Like they set up for this huge move, but all I did was kiss this guy. Like that's insane. I go, yes, get invested in this, because the best match you're going to see. It was so good. Oh my god. I literally wish I could relive it. <laughs> I literally, I swear, I only watched the um, TNT version of Rampage last night just for that match. It was so good. The right people won. I'm so excited. Adam Cole and Jungle Boy on Wednesday is literally going to blow my freaking mind. Like, I don't think we're ready for how good this match is going to be. And it's all about the boom, because that's who's going to win the match. From there, I think the 8-man was next. I'm trying to ignore it. I believe the 8-man was next. And that was the Hardy household versus uh, Lucha Bros and Santana Ortiz. And the pal for Santana Ortiz was absolutely insane. I will openly admit that uh, the TNT coverage, the TNT coverage does not give enough credit to how loud the crowd was. Holy crap. Um, Santana Ortiz won their whole town. They were, they had the face painted. I think it was for the Yankees and the Mets, because for the blue and the white and the blue and the orange. That match was fun. They're eight talented human beings going back and forth. I mean, the spot where they all just like went flying was insane. It was so good. 
I really just want to go back, as you can see by my face. I just want to go back so bad. And then my girl Anna J versus Penelope Ford. Oh my god, I mean... <sighs> poor Anna. But this, ma this match was fun. Um, Anna's definitely improved so much in the ring. You can see how she's way more confident than she was before she was injured. I think that Anna J is very going to be a, a pivotal role, especially with the second title coming. And I'm just going to say here, I have literally begged for a second woman's title in AEW for five months. And the fact that they're literally going to do it is insane. Like, you could literally ask Kyle and Bill. I've literally said it every day for five months. I'm like, they need a second woman's title. They need a second woman's title. They need it. They need it. They need it. And they're like, it's not going to happen. 2022, 2022. And boom. It's happening. Jeez, it's so hard. Ah. But I'm going to be excited for this tag match between Penelope and Allie versus Ty J. And fun facts, actually, after next week, I've worked with three out of the four of them. The only one I've not worked with is Penelope Ford. That's insane. Oh my god. But Ty J's gonna win, because those are my girls. Love them. And this lights out match. I've never seen Suzuki... Okay. I've seen... I've met Archer. I've seen Moxley wrestle. I've seen Kingston wrestle. Suzuki's on a whole nother level. I don't think Suzuki gets enough credit. This match was insane. And just the pop Kingston got, and just how loud they were singing Wild Things is literally the most, like, one of the most loudest pops I've ever heard. And Kingston and Moxley won, as they should. This match was crazy. I love that this was let out. I love that this was the main event. And I don't think they showed this. I think this was just exclusive to us. But Kingston cut a promo just, like, thanking everyone for coming and saying that, you know, AEW now owns New York. Thanking his mom who was in the crowd. And it was just a, such a feel-good moment to go home with. And it's moments that like that that make you say, I was there right or you know when AEW Grand Slam happened I was doing this or I was doing that it's moments like that like I'll even admit to when Brian came out on Dynamite I literally looked at my dad now I'm going I'm going to say the same thing I said to Kyle I've been to Wrestlemania I've been to the New Japan Ring of Honor show in the garden I've been to Ring of Honor at Hammerstein I've been to Impact that pop for Brian or just the Kenny Bryan match on Dynamite was the loudest pop I've ever heard in my life. And I looked at my dad and I said, this is bigger than Mania. And he looked at me and he agreed. And that means AEW is doing it right. And I'm going to echo what I said in my vlog. I'm going to echo what I say. Thank you, Tony Khan. You're literally the most grateful human being ever. You're the best. And um, I hope one day I am grateful enough to work for you. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I also find it funny because I feel like TK is such a wrestling nerd and I'm such a wrestling nerd. And I'm like, oh my god, like, put us in a room, like, we can make magic, like, we could do this. But yeah, that's it for me. It's now 1.13 and they're all still watching movies. Now I get to edit all these videos while watching Cruella. Woo! So, Extreme Rules review Monday. Um, then Raw, NXT, we're, we're back to a regular schedule next week. Actually, no, there's going to be no SmackDown Rampage review next week because I'll be actually working with Lana. So yeah, there's more details on that next week. But yeah, that's it for me. And I'll get out of my shower now because that's what I've been filming in for the past two hours.